are just in time. My friend Light here and I are about to begin our project for today. Can you guess what we're going to make today, Light? Something practical, like a table or a chair? Not quite. But we are going to make something practically perfect. We're going to make a diamond. A diamond? But I thought only Superman could make diamonds with his bare hands. Well, that's true for Superman in the movies. However, in nature, diamonds are formed under great pressure over millions of years in the subterranean layers of the earth. In fact, it's the pressure that gives the diamond its unique symmetrical crystalline structure. I don't understand what you're talking about, Mr. Toriano. Well, Light, I'm talking shape. See, we don't have time to use pressure to make our diamond, so we're going to rely on precise angles and cuts, and of course, a little help from our old friend Elmer's glue. Wow! Here, take these sides, and we'll go to the gluing table. I didn't realize the diamond had so many sides. Well, yes, they are multifaceted. Here, just take two sides and put them together like this and use the tape as a kind of hinge. What happens if you get an angle wrong? Well, either we go back to the saw or we're talking firewood. <laughs> Now that we have our two halves, we can join them. Light, why don't you turn yours over so I can use it as a base for mine. Get the edges fitting. Now I can put the top on there. <clears throat> now, Light, what do you see? Well, a bunch of wood stuck together. I think maybe you should have a closer look. to see. Can we do it again? Sure. There's always a next time. <laughs> <laughs> 